Welcome back everyone to a brand new Wizard 101 video. It's Chlorine here. Today guys, this question um, has come across my attention for a long time and I have, um, you know, I have been avoiding it. I just, I don't know, like, I already made a video on this and, uh, like, the reason why I didn't want to make another video is because I over leveled and, you know, it just doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna make it. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get a hundred and ten damage on a level sixty or above life. Um, now I'm level eighty. All right, I just finished Avalon. I'm in the first quest of Azteca, right? The crazed underhorns. Ugh. Save me, guys! I'm in Azteca, please. Um, but yeah, so. Obviously, the health is not going to be the same because the levels uh, that I've gone through. Um, so, you're just going to be a little bit lower. Um, but, yeah. So, I have 110 damage with all level 60 and below gear. Um, nothing above level uh, 60. Um, 32 resist. Uh, 36 to life. 10 accuracy. Now, you can go higher than that. Uh, 157 crit, that's basically as much as you're going to get. Uh, technically you can go higher, but you will sacrifice one damage. Um, I just never got it. Uh, 12 block, block doesn't matter. Healing in and out is completely garbage because you are hitting. And 87% power pip chance, which is actually kind of good. Um, the gear I'm using is the Vibrant Chieftain's Helm. As you can see, this is a 56 item. This is nowhere near a uh, level 70 or level 80 um so yeah pretty good stats good good damage you know it's great and all that road roads with this uh this actually from uh sorry uh this is from sutherland and winter tusk uh from the vendor uh, sells the crafted 56 gear so you can get that from there um the robe is the robes of the system um this is from a uh, myth of devourer in uh zigzag uh, so yeah, uh, you know, this is, uh, probably the highest damage, uh, life robe you can get. Um, and as you can see, it's level 60. I'm not going above 60 at all. It's not a cheat. The boots, Mulinda Spirit Sandals. Um, these, uh, these are also level 60. Again, I'm not going higher. Uh, you could go for 100 and... 11 damage if you want to put on the what is it called if you want to put on what is it called oh if you want to put on the uh waterworks boots that's fine i used to have them but i don't really need them anymore i had just have these um so yeah that's how you get the uh, mulindo um they come from the uh pack uh Professor's 4 pack, if I can find it, right here, 399 crowns, um, kind of easy to get, the one Sky Iron Hosta, now, what you can use is the, if you want to gain crit, um, uh, you can go with the, uh, the life version of the Headmaster Staff, um, you do sacrifice 9 damage, but if you want to keep that hunt, you do sacrifice um, one damage, not nine damage. It's nine damage one, so you sacrifice one. Um, so if you want to keep one ten, you could rock the waterworks boots and the sky iron hosta. I mean, and the uh, in the. I'm sorry, I can't think right now. I'm so. Uh. The what is it called? The uh, headmaster staff. So yeah. Um, but personally, I just think these are all this uh. The Melinda's boots are well, better, well-rounded stats. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah. For right now, I just have the Skyrim hot because I don't. But if you got, if you have the uh, uh, Headmaster staff, I I don't know why I can't say it. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, you can get that. Wait, what are these? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Um, you can get that and uh. Get uh, like 50 something more crit for the Athame. I'm using the Bear Claws of Life Athame. Um, seven damage is actually really nice. Um, this is a level 56. Uh, 
Oh, and I forgot to say, over here, if you did rock the Melinda's, uh, or whatever it's called, the, the wand I was talking about, um, it would still be level 60, so you could still rock that kind of damage at level 60. But back to the Athame. Now, the Athame is kind of tricky because you do want to have certain things socketed. Um, for example, you want that accuracy socketed. The um, Because without that accuracy, I would literally be at 4 accuracy. Um, so Light, you know, doesn't get much accuracy on their, uh, on their pieces of gear. So, yeah, you definitely want to get that. Um... Health is obviously good to sock it, and um, you know I I just sock it outgoing because I'm I'm life, um, and you know the three uh, three flat damage is you know nice to have. The amulet using the jewel of the virtuous soul, um, good health uh, and some outgoing because I'm life. So plus it gives me rebirth and um, what is it? Rebirth and guiding light. So it's nice to have those. Um, I mean, you could obviously go with Shango's Life Blade Amulet, but since I'm already rocking the hat with the 45 blade, um, I don't need to rock uh, Shango's Life Blade Amulet because technically the blade is just meaningless because I can't use both at once. So right now I'm going with the uh, Zigzag. Um, the Zigzag. This is from the skeleton, uh, the Wooden Skeleton Key boss and lower Zigzag. Um, I forgot to say. The uh, the wand is from the Skyron Hosta is something you should all know is from Zeus uh, Mount Olympus, um, and this is uh, you can just get it from the bazaar or a ton of bosses in Celestia drop it. Um, so yeah, uh, the ring I'm using the Jade Ring of Battle with a health jewel socketed. Um, could have gone open this could have opened the other ones but I just didn't. Um, great damage, great power percent power percent chance. Again, I'm not going over. Uh, 60 again here. I'm not going over 60 either. I did hit 60 there um, But mainly I just you want to suck at health on these things. So yeah um, This is obviously drops from a number of bosses in Celestia um, This is easy to get personally. I just would go get it from the bazaar because that's where I got it from um, the pet now uh, What you want for this setup is you are going to want a quint damage pet um yeah, you could go for Mighty and get more damage. You'd easily do that. Um, personally, I went for Spellproof because questing through worlds like Azteca, Chrysalis, Avalon, uh, Faria even, uh, I'm going to want that 10 extra uh, resistance, so I take it. Um, so let's trash that. Um, this is something you could also have. Uh, you could sock it. I mean, you could have this. Um, you go down to 103 damage, so you're still above 100 uh, damage, um, and but you can gain um, you can gain more resistance, extra five resistance, and have Storm Ward on there. So your Storm bosses, you know, uh, 52 resistance to Storm, which is really good. I sometimes use it, but sometimes not. I mainly stay with the Quint damage. Um, cause I already have spell proof, but yeah, this is also nice to have for storm bosses. Um, but yeah, mainly I use this, um, for the Mount life culture, life culture is especially needed to have this set up because you're getting any piece of damage you can get. So yeah, I definitely recommend life culture. Um, you can get this from the culture pack, which everyone should know. This is only a pack item in the culture sword pack pretty hard to get but uh yeah don't judge me i do have the gold on every character but whatever um the case of the virtuous soul basically you just want to want any 60 deck to go along with it because that's where you get the max amount of spells copies and uh life copies in the sideboard you get the 32 um basically you're not going to get any stats until like level 90 on your decks so it doesn't really matter what deck you use as long as it's a 60 deck so that you can have the maxed out spells copies and all that um, but other than that, um, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get, uh, over a hundred, that's how you get 110 damage or even over a hundred damage, no matter what setup you use, a hundred, over a hundred damage on, um, on a life at level 60. Most people think it's impossible. It's, no, it's really not. I did it. Um, I even went to 110 
Now, if you think about it, if this were to be mighty, you would get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I could go to 115 if I'd like. Eh. And if I'd like, if I really, really like, I could switch these to Waterworks boots and go with 116 damage. So, yeah. Um, I could literally do 116 if I wanted to, but... Shit. What's... What's the fun in that when I can have all these other great stats to go along with it? Um, but yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, you can leave a huge like, comment, subscribe, anything to support the channel. Um, guys, stay, stay tuned for my other kind of content. I do opinionated videos. Um, I also do uh, walkthrough videos, as anyone knows from my Fire and Ice walkthrough. I also have a co-op walkthrough, my Myth and Life. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um... Yeah, I do some live streams sometimes. I don't live stream that often. Um, something I don't really have time for, or something uh, just not just not big on doing. So yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.